It is fast for day, October the 1st, all over the world, all over the United States, it is October 1st. The FAFSA application is open. For those of you who are not sure what the FAFSA is, it's the free application for student aid. And the FAFSA, it is an application that students who are aspiring to go to college or those who are already in college, this is an application that is needed in order to qualify for financial aid assistance. Um, the free application for student aid, it's a gateway for receiving money for college. It's the form that the federal government uses to determine eligibility for financial aid. It determines eligibility for Pell Grants, for federal loans, Parent Plus, subsidized, all those types of funding that helps you with your college ed education expenses. Before you get started with the FAFSA, I do want to remind you to make sure you have an FSA ID. The FSA ID is an identifier that you will need to help identify yourself electronically to access the FAFSA. The FSA ID is made up of a username and a password, so make sure you remember the username or password. One tip that I use for myself and use for my own children and all the students that I have um, advised, put it in your notes on your phone because anytime you're accessing your FAFSA, you are definitely going to need the FSA ID. If you are a dependent student where your parents have claimed you on their taxes, you will need theirs as well. So parents, be prepared. You will also need an FSA ID in order to sign the FAFSA electronically. I know, I know, I know you feel like, okay, they can do it on their own. But no, when you're dealing with the federal government, they want to make sure that the parents' information is also um, included. So make sure that you also sign up for an FSA ID. Studies show that the students that apply with in the first three months of it open, you tend to qualify for more grants, for more, more financial aid, so why not? So make sure you get all of your documents in place, Get make sure you have everything in order. You will need taxes, your tax information, so make sure that you have your tax information handy to be able to complete the FAFSA. Um, if you are a student who has a parent who has been remarried, make sure that your mom and stepdad or your dad and stepmom or whatever however your family makeup is you'll need their tax information so i'm happy to help answer questions that you may have but also talk to your counselors at school or talk to the financial aid office at the school that you're planning to attend and anyone will be happy to help you because we want to make sure that you're successful and make sure that you get the information in there correctly the first time